Hey folks, I thought I'd do a video today, and I'll do my best filming in my room, because I don't really have a lot of light in here, I didn't feel like bringing everything up, but I thought I'd do a video showing all of the autographs that I have in my room. Instead of making it all shaky and not so good with the movements, I'm just going to put that camera on each individual picture and tell you about it. The first autograph collection I'm going to show you is the stuff that I have of John Waters. I have one picture here with me and him, another picture of me and him with him. That was at Borders Books. That Borders is no longer open anymore. This was at Record and Tape Traders. And that was the same day we had him act in our video. He did that little cameo in Chocolate Blades. So if you want to watch that, you can see him in that. We're really lucky that he did that. But see, he knows my dad because he has some of my dad's artwork. So, like, he's known my dad for a long time. And um, we live in Baltimore, so that's how we have seen him so many times. I, I actually saw him at the premiere of Disturbia. He was sitting right behind me talking about the movie. It was pretty cool. And here's my autograph from Ray Parker Jr. Now, he hasn't been around for a while, but he I got this a few days ago at Chiller. You best know him for the hit song, the Ghostbusters theme song, for the movie. And here's the autograph I got from Marsha Wallace, who does the voice of Edna Krabappel on The Simpsons. And most of you, or some of you would know her too, from Full House. She was the neighborhood watch and one of the PTA members that always liked Joey in the show. And my autograph from Lisa Loring, who played Wednesday in the original Addams Family TV show. I got this last year in Chiller in the October of 2006. And this autograph I just got from David Forcello, I believe that's how you pronounce it, who played Bud Bundy in one of my favorite 80s up to 1997 shows, um, Married with Children. And if you haven't, I don't know how you couldn't have seen that unless you did, didn't, were in some other countries that didn't air it, but it was a great show and I'm sure you can find clips on YouTube if you've never seen it. And here's my autograph I got from Maureen Newman and I got this recently at Chiller and it was great to meet her because like basically I grew up watching Problem Child 2 I know a lot of you probably don't like it but I do I love it but she played Lawanda in the movie and to actually get an autograph and to meet her was outstanding and here's my autograph from John Franklin he was in the movie Children of the Corn I'm sure a lot of you have seen that you remember him he was the one like he has a condition sort of like Andy Wanakas it makes him look younger, but he was actually like in his late 20s when he did this, playing like a teen. He still looks really like pretty much exactly the same now. And here's my all-time favorite autograph with Pee Wee Herman and Miss Yvonne. And I'm calling them the true names because that's the name they actually signed under. And this was at Chiller 2006. And Pee -wee, me and Pee Wee got along so well, he actually took a picture of me with his camera for his own collection. And here's another picture that Miss Yvonne did because she liked me so much she gave it to me for free and of course the pictures of me and Pee Wee and me and Miss Yvonne and here's the picture that John Kay the creator of Ren and Stimpy drew of me everyone wanted to be drawn as you know Ren and Stimpy but I said draw me as Lummox and he's like oh that's a big stretch and well I don't think it is but you judge and this is one of my favorite pictures of me that um, Bill Plimpton drew of me as Don at the Comic Con convention. I, I've really always loved this picture and it, he did it totally in his style. It's amazing. And here's my autograph from Jeff Lieberman who I never thought I'd actually get to meet because he was out of the scene for a long time. He directed the amazing film Blue Sunshine. He did Squirm about those killer worms. And what was the other one he did Just Before Dawn? And um he did another one, I just it slipped my mind right now. Because that always seems to happen. And look, it's and look, it's the old Sal Porsche guy coma. Well, I'm not being mean or anything. Like when I saw him, I don't know why, but he had a real bad she, like grin, like a sheet eating grin, not the happy kind. And here's my autograph with the Fonz, the coolest guy in the entire world. You know, Henry Winkler. And most of you have probably seen him in, in Click, if you haven't seen Happy Days. He played Adam Sandler's father in the film, and he was a really nice guy. And here's one of my many autographs from Ken Free, who 
people I've probably met, I don't know, 15 times. Pretty much every horror convention, convention, Comic Con, um, little convention, I've seen them at. I've seen them back when he when he retired from acting for a couple of years and, and worked at a deli stand. He had his own deli. And I never got to go to it because the one year we went down to California, we started going for Comic Con, he closed the deli and then was back into acting again. And here's my autograph from Edwin O'Neill, I believe. So I screw this up. And he is the actor in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He was the hitchhiker. And look, it's Edie. You know, the one from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles at First Puro's Day Off. Is that Frank? You know, yes, it's Frank James of all from Donnie Darko. I did. I miss getting May's autograph though. And here's my autograph from Misty Moonday. Although now I'm sure it's more collectible since she doesn't sign under that name. Now she just does Aaron Brown. Now I've got to get one and have her sign Aaron Brown. And if she changes her name again, it could be Sophie LaRue. Who knows? And look, it's Dorian Kane. Mm -hmm. And here's the autograph that my dad got me that I wasn't here this year of Comic Con. It's Glenn Shaddix. You know, Ofo. Otho from Beetlejuice. And here's my autograph from Erwin Keyes. He's a really nice guy. We talked for a long time about the Flintstones movie. Here's him right here. And he was also in House of a Thousand Corpses. He's very happy that, that someone was wanting to talk to him about the Flintstones. Because he said he was really sick of discussing um, Hills have I mean, you know, House of a Thousand Corpses. He said he didn't like that movie that much. I, I think he likes being in better movie. I mean, yeah, it's a good movie, but Flintstones is a better movie. And here's my autograph from Kelly Marooney, I believe that's the pronunciation, who is the star of the great cult classic film, Night of the Comet. If you haven't seen that movie, you better check it out. It's, it's a must-see film. And here's my autograph from one of the coolest guys ever. I got at the horrifying convention many years ago. I think it was probably the first year of the convention, maybe the second, with Michael Berryman who I have never seen again. I only saw one time because he hasn't been back. Hopefully he'll come another day to Horrifying because I'd love to get another signature from him and maybe something for Devil's Rejects. And here's the autograph that my dad got me years ago um, for from Kevin Smith and Jason Muse. Now I've actually never gotten an autograph from them myself although I've seen him um, three or four times at Comic Con. And here is my first ever Ken Free autograph that he even smeared. I remember after I got it, I was like, oh God. And then I just thought to myself, well, Ken Free smeared it. So I could say it was my autograph I got from Ken Free that he smeared with his own fingers. And here's my second autograph from Orwin Keys. The autograph here is from Jeffrey Combs, best known for Reanimator, who's working right now on a new Reanimator, House of Reanimator. He was also in. Um, recently, Black Cat, the episode of Masters of Horror, which you should check out when he played Edgar Allan Poe. And here's a picture now, an autograph from Gary Clark, who looks now very much like my father. They almost pretty much look like twin brothers. As we, I might, they even took a picture together at Horror Find and showing how much they look the same. Hopefully he'll come back to acting someday. He hasn't done anything since, I think, Hackers. I'm guessing he must have retired or, or isn't into doing it anymore, but he comes to conventions and he's a really cool guy. I haven't seen him in a long time, but would love to hopefully see him again at Comic-Con, I mean Comic-Con, Horror Finder, anything like that. And here's my autograph from Sid Haig, and I think I got this at Comic-Con the year that I had him do that small acting part in Comic-Con 2005, when I went up to him and asked about his famous chicken, they told me to get the fuck out of here, fat ass. You should check that out if you want to see him in that. And here's my autograph from Dan Kaffa that I got at the convention that didn't wasn't a success for one reason or another. Was it was in Baltimore called CreepCon. It's one of my favorite conventions, but it never happened again. I, I hopefully one day they'll do something similar, but they had a Return of Living Dead reunion with pretty much everybody. I think except Freddy, even people that don't talk about it anymore like the one friend and stuff and he was a real cool guy and 
I remember I went to the talk they had that year, and MJ was along, and we were in the room, and it was sad. It was only me, MJ, and probably four or five other people in the entire room. And here's my autograph that I got at the same convention from Brad Dorff, the um, actor who plays Chucky, and who's been in numerous films and TV shows, Deadwood, and um, Cuckoo's Nest, and so many th things. There's too many things to mention. And here's one of my prized autographs that I was so lucky to get to meet him. It was James Karen, who is one of, I'm, I would say he's one of my top ten actors. And he's from Return of the Living Dead. And one of my other favorite movies that he was in was The Willies. And he played Mr. Jenkins, the janitor. And if you haven't seen that movie, you, you got to find a way to check that out. That is one of the best spoof horror type films. It was directed by the one guy in Return of the Living Dead who had the mohawk. I don't remember his name right now. I think Dave Peck or something like that. But it is a musty film. Sean Austin even had a cameo in it as the guy telling the stories and made references to the Goonies in it. And here's my autograph from Lloyd Kaufman. Yep. And I mustn't forget the autograph that my dad got for me of Crispin Glover when he was signing promotion for Willard. Yep. And I mustn't forget the autograph that my dad got for me of Crispin Glover when he was signing promotion for Willard. And he puts he even puts his mom's phone number in there because that's how he, he used to, I think he still does, sell his books that he makes. I've still been waiting for What Is It to come out or on a bootleg or something because um, I've been really wanting to see that. And he was going to come to Baltimore at one point and then the Charles Theater or something didn't want to pay him or something. I cursed him for not doing that because I desperately wanted to meet him. Well, that was all the autographs that I have in my room. I have a few more downstairs, and I have one from Billy West that I had him sign some of the Ren and Stimpy toys when they put some out for the, um, I don't know if it was the reunion. It wasn't a doll party, but it was a company that now isn't in business, but I had him sign something then. He was a real cool guy, and who else do I have? I have some more Sid Hag and some more Ken Free downstairs. And like somebody who did something for the Blair Witch I have, well, I just hope you enjoyed seeing my stuff and, oof, you shave. <laughs>